I'm guessing when you clean your kitchen, you have a routine that you follow. This is true. <laughs> I bet you start by emptying the sink and, yeah. uh, and then maybe end with sweeping and mopping the floor. How did you know? <laughs> because I've watched you. <laughs> and I know that you have products and tools that you love to use. I do, these are them. <laughs> so I'm Stacy Julian, and this is my adorable sister Darcy, who is here to help me introduce the Photo Freedom Show on my craft channel. So exciting, but I'm not the only one here. Oh, that's true. Okay, we have cameraman Rick, hi Rick. We have cameraman Brad. Hi Brad. Hi Brad. And we totally have our super cool TV studio. It's like way exciting. It is super cool. <laughs> I know, it looks just Love like it. me. Yeah, it they does. Did a good job. They did. So in this episode, we're gonna talk about establishing an effective digital workflow, which is a routine that you follow every time you upload pictures from your camera, da da da, to your computer. Okay, essentially, yeah. what we're gonna do is clean up the digital mess that's on your computer. I could use a little clean up <laughs> in the digital mess. There are six basic steps <clears throat> to, a, to a good digital workflow. And now, the first step is upload. That's just simply getting the pictures off your camera and onto your computer. Step two is purge. That means you gotta delete. Because you have a digital camera, you take way more pictures than you need to keep. So deleting or purging is an important part of the process. Step three is you rate your photos. In other words, you use stars to prioritize which are the really good ones and which are the not so good ones. And then step four is tag or use keywords to help you find certain groups or categories of photos. Step five is archive. You wanna make sure that your most important pictures are not just on your computer, that they're online and stored somewhere away from your home and your computer so that if something mm happens, you know, your computer, uh, to your computer or to your home, your pictures are still safe. And the last step is the one that we're most excited about and that we're most eager to do, and that is share. And whether you make scrapbooks or you share pictures on a blog or on Facebook or Flickr, it's all about sharing. We, we probably all have thousands of pictures on our computers, but most of us, Darcy included, and, okay, have prints from before the digital camera era that are kind of unorganized and yeah. need some help, okay? For sure. yeah. So as I do some stuff on my computer, I wanna get you started with your prints. All right. Okay, so what I want you to do, just like we talked about in the six steps, is take your stack of pictures, and I want you to make a delete pile, a purge pile. Oh, okay. okay, okay. Purging isn't just about getting rid of things, it's about choosing what you really wanna keep and what you wanna work with. All right. Okay? And then as you go through your pictures, I want you to make three piles. You're gonna rate your photos using the three star system, okay? So a pile of three star photos, three stars are the pictures that you absolutely want oh, the to ones do. I keep. Yep, you wanna do something with them no matter what. Right, okay. Because you'll love them that much. All right. Okay, two star photos is the photos that are the photos that um, you love them, but you're not quite sure you wanna use them and you wanna decide later. Okay. Okay, and then one star photos are those photos that you're like, you know, I don't know that I'm really gonna do anything with them, yeah. but I'd be sad if something happened to them. So we're gonna just kind of hide them. We're gonna put them in what I call cold storage, out of sight, out of mind, okay. so that you can really focus on those two and three star pictures. Perfect, okay. Okay, so Darcy's gonna so get busy making piles, and I'm gonna come over to my computer and I'm gonna show you what that looks like, those six steps look like, I'm sorry, not all six steps, but what it looks like to do the, the purging and the rating with my digital images on my computer. So what I've got is I've got my photo software open and I use iPhoto because my pictures are on a Macintosh computer. Your photo software might look a little bit different, but all photo software, good photo software, will help you do the same steps that I'm going to follow. Notice over on the right, there's an information pane, and up at the very top, you'll see some stars, five stars. So as I go through a recent batch of, a batch of pictures, I'm gonna show you as I delete pictures and as I give three, two, or one stars to others. Okay, so this first picture, it's a good picture, but I'm not gonna keep it, so it's a delete. And um, I think that, I think this one, that's also a delete actually. That one looks pretty cute, but I don't know that I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna give it a one star. And that for me is also a delete. That's a delete. You'll notice that I'm actually really comfortable deleting lots of my pictures. I'm gonna keep that one of, of Taft actually splashing the river. I'll give it a two stars. Uh, I'm gonna delete that one of my son Chase. I've got a several in a row here of these guys. They were looking for crawdads in the river, but I'm gonna go delete and delete, and I'm gonna keep that last one, and I do like that one. That's probably one that I would use, so I'm gonna give that three stars. 
Then there's some cute pictures of my daughter Addie, but I can see that I don't want that one. That's a delete. That's a delete. That one's pretty darn cute. I'm going to give that one two stars, but I think this next one is my favorite. I love the angle and I love the look on her face, so that's a three star photo. And I've got these with Trey and Taft in the river, and uh, I think I'll give that one a one star. I might give it two stars. That one I'm just going to delete. It's too similar. That one's cute because Trey's trying to walk up screens, upstream. I think I'll give that two stars. And then this last one I don't need. That's also a delete. So you can see, and that's, that's a delete too. You can see how I just work through batches of photos and I end up deleting about half of the pictures I take and upload. And then I rate probably a, another half of those and make sure that, that I've got two and three star photos that I know for sure that I want to use and share in some way. Okay, I think I'm going to check back in with Darcy and see how she's doing. Okay, it looks like Darcy's been very busy. I have been. <laughs> Look at you have four piles of pictures. I'm so excited too. Look at all of these great three star photos I have. Yeah, and see now you don't have to worry about all the other ones. You can really just focus on the pictures you love most. It's right, and I'm actually okay with purging these. It really helps out. It does. Yeah. It totally does. It's great. And I got this, okay, I, I have not seen this picture in so long, but look at this great photo of Brooklyn. Oh my gosh, that it's is so Brooklyn. So Brooklyn. <laughs> that absolutely, and that, that's actually step four. Oh, step four, uh-huh. Step four with digital images is tagging or using keywords to set aside some of your best pictures so you can see them in categories. Oh. When you're working with prints, that's exactly okay. what I want you to do is start, so start a collection of just Brooklyn photos, photos that are her personality. Okay. They're so Brooklyn that, you know, you want to keep them together. Okay. So that in 10 years, you'll go back to that Brooklyn file and you'll have highlight photos of Brooklyn spanning her life. Just all her personality. Exactly. Perfect. Not all of the photos in this pile that are Brooklyn are going to go in the Brooklyn pile. Just some of them that are just oh. really, truly personality pictures. And you can start a pile like that for every, every person in your family. That's so It's cool. called a category file. Category. Okay. Okay. Okay, sounds good. Okay, so now start doing that. And you can also look back at your two-star photos if you want to just to see if there's pictures to put in those personality piles. All right, that sounds okay. great. And then I'm going to show you, what again, what that looks like with the digital images. Okay, I've been working on my photos. You can see I've pared down my collection pretty good. And uh, I'm now to the point where I want to tag these digital images or add keywords. And I want you to notice this photo right here and this photo right here, just like... Um, these, these are so Addie. This is my daughter Addie, and they, they just exude Addie's personality. So I'm going to go up, and I'm going to click on Manage My Keywords. I've already made a keyword for Addie, or a tag, and I'm going to click on that and tag those two photos with, with the keyword Addie. Now what's really exciting in uh, photo software is you can create something called a smart album. The Smart Album is a dynamic folder that will automatically aggregate photos that have the same keyword. So I'm going to make a Smart Album for Addie, and I'm going to call it the Addie Album. I'm going to tell the Smart Folder to please look for all pictures that have the keyword that contains my tag, which is us, because she's a member of our family. She's part of us. Her name is Addie. Now, after I create that folder, it pops up over here on the left. And when I click on it, oh, and there's already there, actually. Look on the screen. Look how fun. There's all these great personality photos of my daughter, Addie, collected together in, in one specific category. So I'm going to go back and see how Darcy's doing with her prints. Okay, my sister is a crazy pile maker. I, I've been busy. <laughs> you are doing so good. I love it though. You have your, your three star pictures. I do. Your two star pictures and you've started piles of personality pictures. For both Ty and Brooklyn, yeah. Isn't that exciting? It is so fun. Okay, so those pictures are gonna go in something called category drawers. Okay. We're gonna talk about more about that in the next episode. Great. But really what we get to talk about now is steps five and six, which is archiving and sharing. Do you have negatives for these pictures? Ooh, I do, but they're totally unorganized. And actually, that's so okay. What you need to do, negatives are just backups of your pictures. So what you want to do is get them outside your house. If something were to happen to your house, uh -huh. you would want your, then you would be motivated to organize your, your negatives. Yeah, so throw true. them in a big envelope and take them to your husband's office. Oh, cool. That's your archive. Yeah. Isn't okay. that exciting? Yeah. And then what you can do is now focus on these great photos and start scrapbooking. Start sharing them with your family. That's awesome. Okay, here's the deal. My little show, Photo Freedom, needs a uh -huh. tagline. 
Okay. I, this is what I think it should be. Tell me if it's good. Okay. You need to let go of the crazy expectation that you're going to do something with all of your pictures. It's totally unrealistic. Totally unrealistic. Did you hear her? Mm -hmm. Totally unrealistic. Okay, but I think what you can do, you can do something with some of your pictures. And when you do, you'll have a lot more fun. I love it. Okay, let's go, let's go with that. Let's go with oh, that. That's it. All right, see you next episode. <laughs>